Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at youtube.com slash show. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and welcome back to the Valder BB Show as I move to my next guest, Jonathan Porter. He's the Senior VP of Forecast Operations and Chief Meteorologist at AccuWeather. Jonathan, welcome to the Valder BB Show for the first time. Good morning. Real pleasure to be with you. Well, I want to talk about how the summer weather, it will affect us beyond what the temperature indicates, because whether people believe it or not, there's climate change. A- absolutely. And uh, we're going to be watching a couple of key factors uh, here in the uh, Dallas area. We expect uh, just like last year, we're expecting temperatures to be near normal for uh, what we would typically expect in the Dallas uh, area here as we head through the summer last year. Uh, precipitation above normal. We're expecting a similar trend here um, as we make our way through this particular summer um, with near normal uh, opportunities for those uh, showers and at times sometimes severe thunderstorms. And we've been dealing with plenty of those here um, across the southern plains over the last several days. Um, The other thing we're really monitoring very closely is, of course, the hurricane season. And here in the Dallas area, we can get uh, the rainfall uh, from uh, tropical systems that maybe make landfall in other parts of Texas or the Gulf Coast. And we're expecting, once again, another very active uh, hurricane season here uh, across the Atlantic Ocean and into the Gulf of Mexico. Last year was a record number of storms. This year, maybe not as much, but uh, still a very active year, above normal uh, number of tropical storms and hurricanes expected. We're forecasting 16 to 20 named storms seven to 10 of which can become hurricanes and perhaps three to five direct U.S. impacts. So unfortunately, that's a call to action for everyone along the coast and in the interior who deal with sometimes the effects of hurricanes to be prepared. Okay, Uh, I've got some social media questions for you. One of them is they want you to explain what that real feel means because they say they've got the app on their phone, but then it has the the actual temperature and then the real feel. So what does real feel mean? Well, that's a great question. And that's one of our very unique tools that AccuWeather provides for free on our AccuWeather.com website, on our mobile apps, Uh, AccuWeather mobile apps, which you can easily download by just searching AccuWeather in the App Store or Google Play on Android. But RealFuel is a unique tool because we take the air temperature and then we factor in uh, the wind, the amount of sunshine, or is it cloudy outside, and very importantly, the humidity. We know when it gets humid here in the Dallas area, how much more, how hotter that feels to our bodies and how much more (laughs) how much more challenging it is sometimes to be out exercising in those kinds of conditions. So the AccuWeather real feel temperature takes into account all of those factors and we let you know what does it really feel like outside beyond just the air temperature. We list that out in terms of what it feels like in the sunshine and also in the shade so that you can use that to decide maybe when you're going to take water breaks or um, exactly what you want to wear outside as you're venturing out to, in, in, uh, to all those great outdoor activities um, this time of the year. So that's a great question, and it's something that we hear constantly from our users that they absolutely love because it really helps them to understand what they're going to be dealing with outside. Okay, that's a great explanation. Okay, you, you touched a little bit on hurricanes. This poster wants to know, do you have any wildfire forecast? Because they know that there have been more wildfires in California and in Texas. Yeah, that, that, that's a, also a very important topic, and that's another concern for the, uh, for the upcoming summer, which is the heart of wildfire season. We've already had big fires across parts of West Texas, especially where there's a significant drought. Now, we were dealing with some drier than normal conditions, which caused some fire challenges uh, at times earlier in the spring across uh, Central and East Texas, but the recent rainfall has helped to put a dent in some of those deficits that we had been running up. So that's good news in that regard. 
but we'll look further to the west where there will be a continued risk for a big impact from wildfires this year across many states. Uh, last year, over 10.2 million acres were burned. Our experts are forecasting the risk this year for more than 9.2 million acres in a wildfire season that's got to start early. It's going to be prolonged and have big impacts beyond, well beyond just California, especially also including parts of West Texas that have been very dry. So the nature of the drought and uh, the magnitude of it has us very concerned about wildfires being a major issue as we make our way through the uh, summer. One thing in West Texas and uh, parts of the Rockies, we are expecting a little bit more in the way of thunderstorm activity than what we had last year. And as long as those storms bring rain uh, and not just lightning, uh, then that will be helpful toward minimizing the risk a little bit in those areas, but still a big concern. Jonathan, I want to thank you for so much for that preview into the upcoming weather pattern. If uh, one doesn't have the AccuWeather uh, app on their phone, how do they get it? Well, it's really easy to do. You just uh, go to the uh, App Store, Apple app, uh, Apple app Store, or the Google Play Store on Android. You just search AccuWeather. It's a free download. And uh, people tell us they love our features in there, like our uh, Real Feel, as we talked about. Also, MinuteCast, it gives you point-by-point point, uh, forecast for your specific address for when rain is going to start and stop in the next four hours. You can be the most weather-aware member of your family or circle of friends using our tools. And one final thought, in that app, you can activate for free push notifications. So we'll send you government weather warnings when they're issued for your community. Valder, we've had people tell us that it saved their life when they get a tornado warning in the middle of the night from our app letting them know to seek shelter for an immediate tornado threat. So that's a great way to stay up to date on the weather threats that are affecting your community and keep your, your family safe this summer. It's something worth having on your phone. You know, we got a lot of stuff on our phones. That is one of the number one tools. I have it on my phone. I utilize it a lot. I want to thank you so much for you guys creating the, the weather app. I love it. And thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB show. Great to, great to be with you. Look forward to talking soon. Yes, come back during hurricane season. I think people might want to hear what you have to say. I'd love that. Hey, great to talk with you, and thanks for uh, using our app, too. We, we love to hear that. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.